the first thing we have to ask is, why Afghanistan? This is a country that possesses lots of natural resources, located in a very important zone to the geopolitics worldwide. Although many news media inform that intervention in Afghanistan is due to violations to human rights and freedom, living in the Middle Age or even say they have a religion that is morally inferior to other religions in the world. The reality is that Afghanistan is a highly strategic geopolitical region and globally important, mainly for the US, Russia and China. Why is it important for the US, Russia and China? Well, Afghanistan is located in a place that could connect India, a country that doesn't have that much natural gas reserves, with other countries that have higher reserves of natural gas as the center of Asia or Turkmenistan. So, being able to build a pipeline to connect Turkmenistan with India would be a gigantic economical competitive advantage for Iran, China and Russia. So, knowing this is not just finding oil or intervening, actually, it is not only to appropriate the natural resources, but to maintain its economic hegemony. The US has to avoid that its counterparts grow. So, if Iran begins to sell its natural resources to India, that would make Iran grow and strengthen the country, something that is not convenient for the US, China or Russia. Afghanistan is important because a pipeline could be going through its territory to connect the center of Asia with India. The intervention in Afghanistan is to avoid the geopolitical power that Iran could exercise in that region. Now, understanding all of this information, it's time to go backwards to the reason why you are here. Who are the Taliban? It must be known about what happened in Afghanistan in 1980s in the Taliban. Afghan guerrillas called Mujahideen fought the Soviet occupation for nine years. They even got money and weapons from the CIA. Years later, the Soviets pulled out the country. By 1992, there was a full-blown civil war with tribal leaders fighting the power, and two years later, a militia called the Taliban started getting attention. Many of its members had started conservative religious schools in Afghanistan and across the border in Pakistan, and some of them had also fought as Mujahideen, creating their own plan for the country. They declared Afghanistan an Islamic Emirate and started imposing their own strict interpretation of Islamic law. Then, the attack of 9-11 happened. The U.S. was after Al-Qaeda's leader, Osama bin Laden. Let's just get back. Get back. Who was supposed to be hidden in Afghanistan with the Taliban's help. The Taliban said they wanted proof he was behind the attack, and they refused to hand him over, and immediately, the U.S. invaded. Within a couple of months, the Taliban were forced out of power and Afghanistan got a new interim government. Three years later, it got a constitution and Hamid Karzai was elected president. What will the Taliban do? Afghans are already asking themselves what life might be like if the Taliban take over again. Will they rip up the constitution which projects basic human rights? Taliban said they want to clear things up and to build an Islamic system where rights of women are granted by Islam from the right to education and the right to work. Now, it is a matter of time to see how the situation in Afghanistan continues and if more countries will interfere on its decisions and future.